Good evening YouTubers. Here making a video that is lacking on YouTube. How to install uh, and work a PS3 or a PS2 on a yes live portable gamer 2. Live gamer portable 2 from Abra Media. Now here's the thing it's very hard. Uh, these these new video capture cards, majority of them come with connections for the um, PS4 and Xbox. Uh, was it one? So they cut out the PS3, they cut out the PS, uh, they cut out the PS3, the PS2, the PS1, the old generation system, the, the old gen uh, generation systems. Now here's what we get with um, our. Um, Live Gamer Portable 2. See the lights on? So, it has power. But on the back, what we get on the back is what's important. We get two... We get two... HDMI uh, spots. So we don't get anything... We don't get anything for... Component, cables, uh, uh... Or the other options that come on the back of games. So here's what to do. The easiest way to do this is, uh, Ever Media, they don't tell you, most of them don't tell you, is that they have these, uh, specific special adapters that you can hook a HDMI into and a converter or adapter, uh, from your PS2, PS3, uh, Dreamcast, uh, PS1, and all the other ones. And I went and got one. As soon as I got this one, as soon as soon as I got this adapter, the game, the PS3 came on, and then I switched to the PS2, it came on. So you can use the same adapter for the PS2 or the PS3. I'm going to show you the adapter. Now, plug this into your TV. Run that USB cord, this one, into your TV. So plug your game into the PS3, the PS3 adapter, the red, the green, blue, plug those cords into these. These, and of course the audio, the white and the red, these hook to this adapter. This adapter, you, you hook that, that, that HDMI cord from there into there, which is this one here. This hooks into this. This adapter hooks your PS3 or your PS2 red, blue, green connections into here. Now, there you go. And you're looking at the back of the PS3. There you go. Now, like I said, this also runs with the, you take this out and you can also have the connections hook up from the PS2. This is easy. Now, if you want to hook up a, um, something like a PS1 or a Dreamcast, then you're going to use a, you're probably going to use a different adapter. And I have this one here. This one here, with this composite connection, that's what you'll probably use. You're going to need one of these. These things run around 40 bucks, but I would rather get these because if you're going to use this with a <clears throat> Abra Media product, they're short of work. Most of these companies, they, they play the screw-screw game where most software or most hardware from another person, it doesn't work on their, on their products. They prefer that you buy their stuff, their name brand stuff, and majority of the time, it works. Nine out of ten times, it's going to work unless it's just defective, which means somebody dropped it. UPS man kicked it around like a soccer ball, like Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura, that kind of thing. Computer adapter, if you want to do it with computer. Nope, no use for this one, and this is the one that I got. Each one of these costs about 40 bucks. Buy them on Amazon. Now, 
we got the connections right now. So now we can play the PS2 or the PS3 video game. We can play the console and we can record straight to our um, computer or we can record straight to the uh, device itself. I have mine set to control uh, right now it's going to the computer so here's the deal with the PS3 and the PS2 uh, I was trying to get software to work and I was I was trying to find out which software do I download because let's be honest when you get this product here and you go to the website it is not helpful at all so they had a uh, what is it called? Recap. Or what was it? What was it called? Recap. Uh, Recentral. They had a ton of Recentrals. I didn't know what Recentral to get. Which one to get? Oh my god, so many damn Recentrals to get. Which one do I get? So I end up getting Recentral 3. Now, I got Recentral 3 and not Recentral 4. I'm currently running Windows 7 with all the upgrade with all the updates. I'm running Windows 7 because uh, I haven't updated to Windows 10 and wanted to erase for me to update to Windows 10 I wanted to erase like half of the software like over half the software I had on my PC and I'm like hell no I don't know what you fucks are gonna take off my PC nope so I'm currently running Windows 7 now the thing is is that ReCentral 4 says it'll run in Windows 7 but I'm not sure it'll run in Windows 7 I know people that ha have uh, used ReCentral 3 and they use it in Windows 7. I went to a Japanese blog and because uh, you know they uh, like a lot of companies they have an American office, they have a Japanese office or you know they have offices around different parts of the world. So I went to the Japanese office and while looking and translating the page into English I found out that for me to use this software or for me to use this hardware the software that I need is going to be ReCentral 3 so let's see what we got so we got are we showing you this? no right now it's showing the page so there's ReCentral 3, ReCentral 3 I'm gonna bring it up yes And that's PS2. You see it? I can record if I want to. So, you see it. I have it downloaded ReCentral 3 to the PC, plugged in the converter, which I'll show you the converter again. This converter, this converter, HDMI to the back. Okay, see my output. This one goes to the TV. This one comes from the uh, PS3. This one goes to the TV. At least I think. We'll see. Let me see. Yeah. TV. PS3. TV. So that, that's going to the PC. So we got the adapter. We got the PS2 coming in here. Red, blue, green audio from the PS2 into the adapter. HDMI into the back of the uh, Live Gamer Pro 2. HDMI into the TV. This is currently plugged. This is cur this USB is currently plugged into a USB 3 in the back of the computer. And what else is there to do other than play games? And once again, if you got Windows 7, download the ReCentral 3. If you have above, probably try 4. Now here's the thing about going onto their website once again because their website sucks ass, ass ass because when you go to the website you will notice that there are about 3,000 links when you go to the software to download the drive and, the, and everything to get your device to work device to work 
There's about 3,000 programs. They have ReCentral 3, ReCentral 3, ReCentral 3, Bug Fixes, this, that, and the other. There are so many things. Then they have ReCentral 4, then they got some other kind of stuff on there. It's just too much. Which one do you download? Which one do I download? Now, here's the deal. Most of those links for the things to download are broken. I tried to download, uh, I clicked on several of the links, and it would not download to my computer. It was taking like, I think the estimated time was like six hours, eight hours to download software from their website down to my computer so I can get their hardware to work. That's inconvenient as hell. So, Avid Media, I need you motherfuckers to fix your shit. Fix your links, please. Fix your links. So, what I did to combat that, because like you, I brought some software, or I, I brought hardware, I brought a video capture card to catch my game. I wanted to work. I didn't pay money for nothing, I wanted to work. So if I wanted to work, I need software. Where's software? What kind of software do I get if none of us download my computer? To combat that, I had to download some other software. Free software, called Free Downloader Software. It is absolutely free. Free Downloader. Now what happens with Free Downloader? Free Downloader is Turn this off for the time being. Free downloader. I'm gonna open it up. And you'll see this. All the stuff I've downloaded. Now, here's what free let now here's what free downloader does. You go on the website, you go on Avermedia website and you're trying to download ReCentral 3, ReCentral 4. You see this ReCentral 3? It goes right there. Here's another version. So here's one version of it that I downloaded that's 82.1 megabytes and here's another version of it that's 85.8 megabytes. This is the version that I end up keeping. This is the version that I, that I end up scrapping. Now here's the deal. When I click this to download it popped up in this kind of screen. Just like this. Look. It popped up in the screen right here. When it popped up in the screen, it started telling you how many megabytes were. It, it, it started telling you where's the speed. It, it started telling you how fast the program was downloading. How you know, and it was, and it was letting you know. So it's letting you know that it's downloading, let's say, 25 kilobytes per second, or let's say, um, five megabytes per second. It's letting you know this, which lets you know if you have a broken link or not because if the link is broken what's going to happen is just like I was telling you before a six hour eight hour download time if it's a six hour eight hour download time that means the link is fucked up that means you don't need that that means stop downloading and choose another link and this is what helped me choose another link because I was clicking different ones for the ReCentral 3 and majority of my clicked on they had the six to eight hour window to download those links are broken but then I clicked on this ReCentral 3, 3.0, 0 0.78, and whatever the hell, 85.8 megabytes, and boy, it downloaded in less than 10 minutes. That might be too long for some of you guys. Uh, I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi, downgraded my service, so they don't charge me all this kind of money for fucking nothing. So you know, less than 10 minutes. Still, I downloaded the software for my hardware to work so guys hope this video is very helpful to you I hope you guys get this uh, adapter so you can play so you can record your PS3 and PS2 games I'm gonna probably order me another adapter for the uh, the composite the composite uh, adapter so I can record my Dreamcast games if I should feel like I want to record Dreamcast games if I'm just feeling like it one day or you know whatever I'm, I might I might you know purchase that either way got my software and hardware working got the hardware working got the software up to it so now and you guys seen the PS2 running on this live gamer portable 2 so, uh, you guys, have a great day. Have a great night. Thanks for your time. Out.